Hey everybody, Lysandra Everett here from LysandraEverett.com bringing you part five to the Conquering Your Little Voice series. And today we are going to talk about goal setting. As we head out of 2010 and into 2011, um, it's really start time to start looking at goal setting and what it does for us. So first of all, let me be crystal clear that you do not need to wait until the new year to set new goals. You can do that today. As a matter of fact, today is always the best day to set a goal. So in this video and the next, I hope that you will take this information and look at your goals a little bit differently regardless of whether or not you attain them. So um, first, let's talk about the failed goal. Um, and I know that seems a little weird um, talking about goal setting, but uh, let me just state clearly that how you handle your failed goals is crucial in how you set your future goals. So let's just say, um, for example, that you set a goal to generate $50,000 in income for the year. However, you end up only generating $40,000 in income. Well, the $50,000 is a failed goal. You've, you know, you've worked really hard towards this goal. You put everything in it, but you missed it. So the question is, how do you handle that? Um, effectively dealing with these failures is crucial to how you um, how you handle your future goals. You know, I mean, think about it. When you miss a goal, you you know feel depressed. You're def you know just deflated and in a very low energy state. And then when you're in this low energy state, you start to set new goals. And that's really not a good idea, simply because, you know, in this low energy state, you tend to under understate your goals. Well, you know, you've, you're sulking on the fact that you missed this 50,000, so you aim a little bit lower. Well, then when you miss that one, you aim lower and you keep lowering the goal until you don't even set goals anymore. And so then you're not working towards anything. But the fact of the matter is that most of the time, we're not going to hit the goals that we set anyway, and that's okay. But, that, but knowing that is not an excuse to not set a goal. It's not an excuse, so you have to do this. So when you set a goal and when it becomes clear that you're not going to, uh, to make that goal, then you need to do this exercise. So, you know, it'll take, um, you know, you sitting down and you can either write this out or record it. So the first thing you do is to restate your goal. So in this case was to generate $50,000 in, um, in income. So then you start to write down all of the accomplishments that you had along the way, whether you've added 50 new customers, you grew your team members um, by 10, or you earned some sort of recognition from your company, whether it was a promotion, um, a trip, or a car, or whatever, some sort of recognition. So, um, and this is really great to have someone do this with you so they'll have more of an objective opinion. But when you're doing this, and then once you make that list, start speaking that list out loud. And when you do that, really listen to yourself, really feel yourself, and, you know, find out where it is that your voice really lights up, you know, and you really get excited about it. And so what that is, um, you know, you're finding the thing that you're most proudest of and it gives you the most positive energy. And so, um, you know, what you're doing here is that you're basically figuring out that you had a goal in mind that you really didn't even know that you had. So in this in the example that we're using, let's just say that in, you know, in the course of your goal, you obtained recognition from your company and, you know, whether you got to walk across the stage or whatever, but you got this recognition. Well, once you got close to this goal and you got your recognition, then your spirit was satisfied and it was time to move on. And so, you know, the thing here is to, to really understand that the, your spirit, the very essence of who you are, knows what it wants. And once it gets that thing, it's satisfied. It's time to move on. It is time to set a new and more meaningful goal. 
So, you know, the, in, in the essence of who you are may be that, you know, this $50,000 really wasn't what you were aiming for to begin with. So you have to acknowledge that unacknowledged goal. And I know you're saying, okay, well, how can I recognize something that I don't even know about? By doing this exercise, you really get to the heart of who you are and knowing what that unacknowledged goal is. So um, I will restate that dealing with a failed goal is absolutely crucial in how you set your future goals. So, you know, be in a conscious state of thought, really sit down and do this exercise and it will help you in the actual goal setting, which I'm going to cover in the next video. So hang on tight. I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.